G'day everyone, or well, welcome back. Well today, I've come to between your minor beach and Pearl Beach, and I wanna do a painting that's a gray old day. Bit gray and miserable, but I can't help that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look, see if I can find something to paint. Now I really wanna paint, but um, yeah, hopefully it won't rain on me. Hopefully it won't rain, but I've got all my gear. I'm here, I am came to, came to paint. And uh, let's see if I can find something to paint between the point between your miner and um, Pearl Beach. So if the rain holds off, I might find something half decent. Just, there's not much light, that's all. So you've got to sort of make a painting work. But um, yeah, see how we go. We'll have a look and uh, go from there. And also, my next video, I will be overseas and uh, have a guess. Where do you think I'm going? So yeah, let's have a look where I'm gonna paint today. Wow, that looks a bit, that looks a bit scary. Don't want to fall down here. Don't want to break a leg before I have a holiday. Just take it easy. Through here. I painted here before. Looking back like that way from around the corner here, but I remember it didn't turn out that good. But uh, there's always a new day. So you never give up, eh? Never give up. Next painting could be better. Well, look at that for a cliff. I was just looking back, back over there. There were some rocks that were on the ground. And I thought, oh, these sandstone rocks probably fall every now and then. And uh, hopefully won't fall on me. <laughs> but yeah, it's a dull old day, but there's a bit of light over there, so. I'll venture on a little bit up, up this way and we'll see what we can um, come up with. Well, I've come virtually to the end and it's just so dull and there's not much happening. And basically, I've got nowhere to stand along here because people jog along here. I've got nowhere to stand, so that's that's a bummer. But um, I'm just thinking of my options. I might go up a bit further here and have a look. Head up here. Head up here a bit more and have a look and uh, see if I can not be in anyone's way. I can do a painting. Really want to paint, that's the thing, eh? You get those days, you really want to paint, and then the weather's crappy that day. <laughs> but uh, you just got to keep going, eh? This looks like a drill. Okay. Someone's left their, um, like an air, air gun there. Okay, so yeah, this could possibly possibly work. Well, there's always the option to come back here a bit. If the if it was a beautiful day, that that, that I painted that before. That's a nice view. And then you got this some wallaby poo, some wallaby poo there, or rabbit poo. Probably wallaby, there's, I've seen a few like rock wallabies and that around here. So yeah, maybe I could go down the bottom there, I might have a look, go down there. Okay, so what I've decided to paint folks, is this view here. What I'm going to do, is I'm going to have like, I'm not going to have the land mass in the distance. I'm just going to do like the water and the rocks and like this area here. So that's the plan. Um, it's starting to spit a little bit of rain. 
but I'm not really worried about that. I don't think it's going to pour, so I think I'm going to be okay. So I'm getting set up now. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. So I've got um, everything set up here. I'm using a Peshaw box, um, aluminium composite, gesso, about four coats, I think it was, four or five coats. Um, I've got down here, I've got um, my paints. I'm just using student paint and um, professional paint, Art Spectrum and Winton. Found Winton very good. So I've got um, yellow ochre, um, Elysian Crimson, Cobalt Blue, Burnt Sienna, Sapphire, and Spectrum Viridian, and I will use Ultramarine Blue and probably Scarlet Lake as well. So yeah, that's the plan. Gonna have a go at this and um, try and do it quick in about an hour. Hopefully, you never know, hopefully I might get a little bit of light coming and might just light these up. You never know, if I, if I get it all in, I get a little bit of light on there, might look good. But um, yeah, it's just about practice getting out and you know, regardless of the weather and, and have a bit of fun, so. So yeah, let's paint. Okay, I'm gonna start with the wash. I've got, I'm using pure gum turpentine, a little bit of burnt sienna, a little bit of ultramarine blue, just on my brush, like a, just a, a wet mix, N not thick at all, very thin. So I use the pure gum turpentine as my medium. Most of the time I just use that, an oil paint. So I will start, as I said, I'm not going to have a horizon so I'll get some rock shapes in try and work something out with the composition you know Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the, the ocean or the sea colour. I'm going to go, I'll, I'll have to make enough to do the whole lot. So I'm going to go, I'll just do it here on the edge here. I'll go burnt sienna, sapphire, bit of alizarin crimson, get some titanium white out here, put that on. I'll just bring it to the edge here, mix that in. Straight away, I'll tell you what that sapphire for the, for the sea, it's it's a brilliant colour. And by adding the burnt sienna, that really gives the um, the warmth to it as well. Sapphire is a bit like viridian. If you add too much, it can get too green. So like that, that's even like close enough. But what I'm going to do, so a tiny bit of cabal blue to that. A little bit more cobalt blue and then I'll go a bit more titanium white that's getting close to the mark it's a bit more earthy so I add a little bit of scarlet lake when I say earthy like it's even though the water, everything's grey, but it looks a bit warm. So just give it a bit of earth, a bit, bit more warmth to it. All right, that looks good. Let's put that on and have a look. What I'll do is I'll put this paint on and it'll be sort of like a bit of a wash, even though it's a bit thicker. But um, I will add a little bit of pure gum turps into that and I can remix mix the color to go over it with a pure paint or you know, like a better consistency after it. So I'm just trying to build it up to see how it looks. So I'll start at the top.
if it's a bit too green it doesn't matter I'll, as i said i'll i'll adjust the color a bit later so i just i'm just laying it in Now what I'm going to do is get me rock shapes in place. I've mixed up uh, this time just oil paint, burnt sienna and ultramarine blue and a little bit of titanium white. Basically, what I've been doing is, is I've just been trying to put a bit more depth into the water. I've just been playing around while I'm drinking my coffee, and I'll show you guys what I mean. So yeah, what I've been doing is just been adding a bit of um, ultra and blue to the rock mix that i had and it's sort of in between the rock mix and the and the ocean mix that i had and i've just been just building it up getting it a bit darker added a little bit of scarlet lake to it as well so you know like when you look at the water and it looks deeper i'm trying to warm up the water a little bit so it looks a bit deeper this part here i might even do it over here a bit because it's it actually I want a bit of light there, but I, I don't want too much um, light on this side and too much dark on this side. So I'll probably just do the same up here. So give me a sec, I'll put my coffee down. Yeah, so yeah, as I was saying, get my glasses on. That's old age for you, getting old folks. <laughs> I'm 50 this year. I just turned 50 a couple of months ago. Yeah, but I still feel young. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna get a bit of depth into it before I do the rocks and the water with the palette knife, you know? So I'll just soften this in. I wanna keep, the, obviously where the water starts to hit will line up I want to keep that light, so I'll just chip away at this. Trying to get the shapes of, you know, the moving water. But yeah, ultramarine blue, you, you see it when you look out there in the water, you know. You do see it in the water, that ultramarine blue color. Just to, because it's a, it's a simple subject and you, you want to be able to, um, feel the sea you know it's not just green or whatever there's a lot of colors in there so that's what i'm trying to create here just to build it up give it that warm dark mysterious sea look you know i'll have a look at that Yeah, it's definitely coming together. So um, I'll show you guys the next step will be to get these rocks in place and then I will end it with doing the whitewash on the coast there on the water.
Now this is where the magic will happen. Once I get these highlights in, looking down at those rocks, I want you to feel the coast. So I'm just using a palette knife, bit of titanium white. Got a, got a chopper, chopper swinging by here. Yeah, so back to the painting. Yeah, I just want to get that whitewash in, get it looking like the case now. Okay, I've done the painting here at the point between uh, Yamina and Pearl Beach. For those of you who don't know, that's Lion Island over there. Baron Joey passed over there, the famous Palm Beach where they film Home and Away. And you got the Hawkesbury River going up in there, Patonga around the corner, Pearl Beach, Yamina over here, and uh, Edelong over there. So yeah, this, this area is called the Peninsula. Over there, that's called Box Head. So yeah, anyway, I've done the painting. It didn't rain, so that was good. And I'll show you guys, tell me what you think. It's a bit, a bit of a elevated view of the rocks. A uh, little bit abstract, <laughs> but I like it. I think I, I think I, I caught the essence of the subject. And I, there's a bit of movement in there. I'm close enough with the colors. I think it's a good little piece, you know. Once it dries and all that, someone might buy it and uh, chuck it up, chuck it up on their wall, get it framed and that. So yeah, if it goes to a good home, someone who appreciate it, appreciates it, I'm really happy about that. So yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. There's the scene. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed coming here. It didn't rain, as I said, which was great. Another look at the painting. Yeah, so anyway, thanks for coming along, and I will catch you overseas in the next one. And uh, happy painting, see you in a few days. Cheers.